So I'm in the car with my friend Brian. He picked me up. Brian's an agent in my office. We're going to Millennium Tower to see. Apparently they have 11 units left as of Friday. Um, I think that's changed, but I don't know what the number is. Uh, here that there are penthouses, a couple penthouses. I think that's what we're going to see. Uh, the most inexpensive place right now is 1.995. I think that's uh, a one bedroom, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll film some when we're in there. See you then. So I just got back from my tour at Millennium Tower. Um, as you can probably tell, I didn't take videos there. The guy that took us on the tour, Pat, was very nice, but he didn't seem, I didn't think he was going to be down with the video. So I took tons of pictures um, and then I will link to um, like a Dropbox or something so you can see everything I took. The place was pretty sick. The views were amazing. A lot of marble in the kitchen, which uh, usually that's not a good idea. It stains. You have to refinish it. I brought that up and the guy's like, if you live here, you have someone to redo your marble for you. He's like, well, that doesn't mean it's a good idea in your kitchen. But aside from that, there were carpet. There was carpet and bedrooms. Okay, so those two things. The views were very good. Uh, appliances were very nice. Gas stove, wine coolers. Uh, all Sub-Zero. Interesting, I sat next to a lady on the plane to Montana, um, to Bozeman, who is a kitchen designer in Bozeman, and she was telling me that Sub-Zeros um, keep your food longer. Apparently the circulation or something to do with uh, a ventilation system in it keeps the air fresher longer. So she... Uh, she was a proponent of them. And I was like, have you ever heard of an aga cooker? And she was like, have I? Of course. I was like, oh, I want one. Anyway, no, there were no aga cookers at Millennium Tower, but I will link to a bunch of pictures. Um, it was pretty cool. There are 11 different floor plans left. Um, a couple units in, within each of those options, depending. Um, there's parking. The restaurant is there. I looked at the menu at the restaurant. Very vegetarian friendly. Um, things that stuck out at me. Uh, truffle popcorn it was on the menu but I was like oh that sounds good and the guy that was taking us around said they usually just keep that out for people to nibble on like a bar snack so that's a plus I didn't see any any out but I'll take his word for it uh, the gym was nice there were trainers there work out with a view uh, there was a pool table which I thought was nice I've gotten into playing pool recently so that was a nice amenity so at the end of the day this is like an all-inclusive building that like you own there but there are tons of amenities. It's not a rental. If you want to go check it out, just let me know because I'd be down to go back. There are a couple properties. Some of the properties that are left are through the developer, Millennium Partners themselves, and some of them are through other agents. Um, so just putting that out there. If you want to, want to go see one, hit me up. And I just want to say this at the end again link to a photo album below.